Hey, it's MYT and Paul Nolan here, and Native Instruments have just issued a major update to Reactor 6, and Blocks in particular gets a massive upgrade. So let's waste no more time, jump straight in, and see what's going on with the new Reactor Blocks. Okay, we're in Reactor 6. <clears throat> okay, we're in... Okay, we're in Ableton Live 10, and I'm going to open up Reactor 6 on a new plugin channel, on a new MIDI channel. And you can see the reason why now, because Reactor, in its newest update, which is Reactor 6.3, as you can see here, gives you three options. You can play with Reactor instruments like Monarch, Rounds, Razor, etc. And then you can build, obviously build your own synths if you are that way inclined and a bit geeky. And then you can also patch using modular racks. So this is part of the whole new workflow. So if I click into patch here, you can see if I just extend that out and I'm going to make this really quite wide because we're going to build something any second now. Where you can see now we've got an empty rack and there is a whole new workflow where blocks are concerned previously you had to use the panel view and be able to directly connect things this way and I actually think it put a lot of people off because it looked a bit too uh, fiddly a little bit too technical uh, probably scared a lot of people and looked way too involving for people who just want to get hands-on and what I'm pleased to show you here is in 6.3 with the new blocks regime so to speak we've now evolved into racks which also means we have the ability to directly patch using these inputs and outputs on either side of each module so this effectively makes it a bit like a euro rack modular in fact it's very much like that and it also reminds me to a certain extent of reason from back in the day well i know a lot of people still use it now so what we're going to do is we're going to make a basic very quick monarch based arpeggiating step sequencing kind of synth so we can use it as like a kind of a bass line and a basic kind of techno track so what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, blocks base here or actually is it blocks prime yeah blocks prime and then I'm going to go into a monarch oscillator I'm going to make a filter and then I'm going to move up into the bento box here in blocks base. So they've divided things now into two different camps. And then I'm going to put in a VCA. So in terms of it being a basic subtractive synthesizer, you have oscillator, filter, and amplifier. So essentially you've got all those bits there. Now I'm going to put in a couple of these bento ADSR envelopes, which means we're going to be able to control other aspects of the synth utilizing these envelopes, including the VCA, the filter, etc, etc. So from there, I'm going to put in at the bottom here, I'm going to put in an eight steps sequencer. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everything up here. and put these on the top row you can just see and dragging them in move that down a little bit and just makes the whole thing a lot easier to see now what i want to do is i want to run this eight step sequencer and you can see i'm just activating the steps here i want that to run pretty much everything so what we have if i hit play you can see it's clocking externally to ableton's tempo here at 124 and i want to take that as the the timing basis which means i can take the gate output and i can plug it into the gate input of the eight step sequencer and i'm going to give that like a blue color basically so you can color code the cables which is really really useful and again what you can see here i'm going from an output to an input so that is something that is very useful for signal flow regardless of whether or not you're working with uh, modular synth like this in plugin or software form or whether you're working with modular hardware semi-modular synths that have patch connections or indeed across any form of signal flow 
across DAW software. It doesn't have to be hardware. We can be talking about plugins as well, absolutely. So in terms of where we're gonna go here now, I wanna be able to control the pitch of the oscillator from Monarch using the eight steps, because you can see I've got the ability now, if I hit play, you can see that's playing through, and I've got the ability to kind of modulate and transpose each step, which is quite useful. So the pitch output is gonna go into the pitch input of the oscillator, and then the output of the oscillator is gonna to go to the input of the filter. Output of filter will go into the input of the VCA, and we're gonna move this audio out here, because this is actually the main audio out from Reactor. I'm gonna go out, only time we do out to out actually <laughs> and then as you can see if i just push the volume a little bit you can hear a little bit of the oscillator there just droning away so the most important thing from now is to actually hook up the various envelope generators these adsr envelopes that will control both the vca and also will control the filter so how we hook those up is that each step in the step sequence here will be generating gate information. So we take the gate output from the eight steps and we put it into both because you can patch into multiple points at the same time and you can see the cable and starting to get a little bit confusing here. So we'll start to give things nice different colors and you'll see that will go into red as well. And yeah, basically now the gate information is being taken in at the inputs because again, inputs are on the left hand side of a module, outputs are on the right. So it makes things very, very simple to read. So from here, the output of these ADSR envelopes is gonna be put into the modulation inputs, these A and B inputs here on both the filter and the oscillator. So I'm gonna take the output of the envelope generator here and i'm actually going to put it into here at the vca give that a yellow color and then i'm going to click on a as a modulation source here which will bring up effectively an amount controller or an intensity control now if i hit play now you can hear that you know a good volume there and you can see it starting to actually control the VCA via this little black arrow here. Now if I turn the sustain down, you can see now that the eight steps are starting to really control everything. So we can turn sustain down, we can get that nice sort of plucky RP kind of, you know, sequence kind of sound. And again, obviously we can roll that down using the filter. Now, if we take the output of the second bento box ADSR here and we put that into modulation A of the filter, and I'm gonna give that again, like a yellow color so we know where that's going as well. We know that's modulation. I can then click A again on the cutoff. Change change the filter mode. And there we go. range right here and then obviously we can start to change the notes here and maybe just delete a couple of other modules that we don't really need to essentially keep things nice and simple you can also add a little bit of shuffle here
go. So we've got a nice little kind of interesting movement there, and I can then just drop. And this band pass filter mode can be quite useful as well and quite interesting. Gives it quite a bit of different character. I've also got like a kick going here just with a kick plugin, a basic kick plugin, so we can then start to shape that sound. Uh, let's use a little bit of Nicky Romero kickstart on that as well. That'll just. And yeah, we're off and rolling with something really nice and techy. So here's a question for you all that you can answer in the comments. If you've been a user of Reactor Blocks before now, how is this update going to change the game for you? And if you haven't used Reactor Blocks before, is this going to encourage you to use it in your tracks in the future? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on the channel and if you're interested in taking your sound design skills to the next level then head to the NYT website transition.studio we're having a Easter sale right now so use the code BUNNY after checkout at B-U-N-N-Y yes I did say Easter Bunny on a video and you will get 20% off your order. Okay, that'll do it for now. So yeah, enjoy producing with Reactor Blocks and I shall speak to you soon. Bye-bye.